Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are here to talk about the brand new Hourglass Curator Eyeshadow Series. We're going to talk about what it is. We're going to mention the prices because I can't help but talk about those, what they do, what their purpose and reason for being is. We're also going to do a little bit of a demo. And then at the very end, I'm going to give you my thoughts, which I surprise myself with my final thoughts. And not exactly what I had assumed I would say. I'll let you watch to get to that. Okay, so the Hourglass Curator Collection is not new, but the Cur Curator Eyeshadow Collection, part of the Curator Collection is new. The eyeshadows are new. They are offering 40 single shadow shades of your choice that you can choose and pick and you know trade with your friends uh, in four different finishes. There are some in matte, satin, metallic, and shimmer. So every sort of formula is covered. These shadows are vegan. They are finely milled and talc free. They are really uh, easily blendable and of course refillable. Now they are sold in a few different ways. So let me tell you how they're sold, what they cost, and it bears talking about. And I'll tell you what I opted with because I'm just kind of trying these out today. I was really curious about the formula. Didn't want to overbuy. Um, because I am still purchasing all of my own makeup. I didn't want to over purchase. These are terribly pricey. So I'll tell you what I did and why I did it. Okay, so the way that this is sold, they are sold individually in little single eyeshadows and each single eyeshadow is $29. But, but the pans that are sold also come with a shadow. So you can buy one pan that comes with one single shadow of your choice for $29, uh, for $31, I'm sorry. The refills are $29. One pan with one shadow is $31. You could buy the three pan option, which is what I opted for with three shadows in it of your choice for $99. Or the five pan palette comes with five choices of shadow, single shadows for $161. Now, Okay, that does mean that we need to discuss prices and we're going to get there. But I want to tell you what they tell us about the recycling aspect of this and I want to show you what it looks like. They're saying that these are um, tin and PCR and plastic free or and, and what you save when you purchase it. So if you buy the one pan palette refillable, they're saying you save yourself personally one plastic bottle from being used. If you buy the three pan palette like I did, apparently I have saved the lives of uh, two and a half plastic bottles floating in the ocean or in the trash dumps. And if you buy the five pan, then you have saved five plastic bottles from a landfill somewhere. I don't know why it's one, two and a half and five. I would think this should be three, but I get it. It's not an exact science, that's fine. Okay, so I don't know, um, sometimes there's, with sustainability, there's a lot of kind of greenwashing that definitely goes on in the industry. And I'm not saying they're doing that. I don't really know how they prove that I've saved these plastic bottles from the landfill. Hey, it certainly isn't adding to it. So it's not a bad thing. It's not like some sort of a lie. But I mean, the, to verify these things is a little bit tricky. And sometimes the um, ability to say that is also an ability to charge a little more. Hey, you're doing a good thing. We can charge you more. So I do think the prices here are steep. Hourglass prices are always steep. This is a, you know, high end luxury uh, makeup brand. I think they're particularly steep. I really wanted to get the five pan, but at $161 when I wasn't sure what the formulas would be like, I was kind of out of it. And so I went with a three pan. 99 was as high as I would go there. Now in the choices between and among, I should say the 40 shades, I went with something called a curated palette. Let me explain what that is and why. So there are 40 shades to choose from, but in each of the three pan and five pan selections, you can also go with kind of one that they have put together for you, uh, which is actually what I did. I went with the Champagne Bronze Trio, which was a suggestion, a curated suggestion from Hourglass. The reason I did that actually goes back to an interview I once did in my day job with Mark Smith, uh, who's a shoe designer at Nike. You'd know him from uh, most of your shoe designs at Nike and from all the Air Jordan stuff. He's the designer there. He and I, uh, we were conducting an interview for a trade magazine I write for, and we started talking about Nike ID, which is that system online. I'm getting to a point here, just stay with me. That system online where you can choose and make your own colors and selection of sneakers. 
he and I just got to chatting. He's a lovely person. And I explained to him that when I had done things like this, make your own sneaker, when it arrived, I was never satisfied with it. And I said, I, I don't like the one where I put my own together. I want you. You're the designer. You do it. He kind of laughed and acknowledged that this is kind of an issue and he said what they were doing is kind of pre-curating uh, certain patterns and, and limiting the choices that the consumer can make so that they were happier with the end product. It is true and I, I kind of agree with him there. It is true if you are uh, a designer of any sort or a makeup artist you could put together an amazing palette on your own. Although I will tell you that the makeup artists that I have interviewed and worked with generally do their magnetic palettes um, by all uh, earth tones, all shimmers, all bright colors, all editorial brights, all etc. Kind of like a uh, Viseart type palette would be put together, the older Viseart palettes. Um, but if you can make a really nice look or you love a certain shade or you love a certain um, color or shade, you know, story, color story from a previous brand, you could certainly do that. But I just went ahead and did their suggestions and I got Champagne Bronze Trio. Let me show you how this works. So we have this tin case right here and it flips open and in it, you set the individual shadows. This is actually not magnetized, which is kind of interesting. Let me see if I could get you around to the back there. There is no mirror. It kind of raises up and out. So these are raised within, literally you just lift them in and place them in. There is no magnetic snap. What holds them in place mostly is gravity when it's sitting down and a really nice snap metal closure, almost reminds me of a really high-end Mentos tin <laughs> that opens up and you can just, but really in terms of taking these out, they just lift in and out. So I have put them in order of the three shades. Let me tell you what comes with the pre-curated champagne bronze. We have Koi, which I'll show you these in a minute on my arm. We have Koi, which is a matte, uh, kind of a beigey color. Arc, which is another matte uh, chocolate brown color. And we have Ion, which is a metallic. So they gave me two mattes and a metallic in my pre scripted curated curator palette. Let me show you what they look like on my arm. They are certainly very, very pretty. And I want you to be able to take a look at how those play out on my arm. Um, and I am, you are getting a sneak preview of what they look like on the eye because I have already filmed the eye look and we're gonna go into that in just a moment here. Why did I go again with a curator? Well, my story about Nike kind of explains to you my feelings on the matter. And also I really wanted to just test the shadows. And for my review purposes, I wanted to take out the fact that I might have chosen shades, mischosen shades, and that would have colored my perspective on the blend, the shade choice. I wanted curated that I knew would look good, but if I like them, and you'll see at the end, then I figured I would buy more and maybe go out on more of an adventurous limb with my shade choices, if you know what I mean. But for our purposes here and for review purposes, I really wanted to take that part out of it. So I went ahead and got pre-selected shades and we are going to try them on. And then I'm gonna give you my slightly surprising thoughts on this new Hourglass Curator eyeshadow collection. I did surprise myself, so stay right there. Okay, so this is gonna probably be a pretty quick tutorial, knowing how quick I am generally anyway, and now we only have three quick shades to use. So I am going to start with our very first matte here, which is Koi. Just gonna dip right in, be nice if I could show you guys. And I'm just going to use it all over the lid. And we know these are gonna look good because I chickened out and I ordered the curated palette. I'm not ashamed. I like curated palettes. Does it defeat the purpose? Maybe a little bit. But I really just wanted to test out the shadows and see kind of how they go. All right, so I'm gonna use the exact same Refer 15 brush that I used right here in Koi, and I'm gonna move into Arc, which is also a matte, kind of a slightly darker chocolate brown, which I like, and let's see what we get. These shades are gorgeous. Now, they, they should be for the price but they are quite gorgeous and they're blending in a really dreamy way. So I'm just kind of going around in circles and just kind of darkening and doing really whatever, just kind of fixing it up a little bit. I'm gonna take this refer number 16 here that's nice and clean and just kind of 
blend a little bit more. That's a little bit of a 90s look to really blend like that, but with those kind of grungy browns, that 90s look kind of works. Going back and forth there. Okay, and now I'm just gonna stick my finger into the metallic shade, which is uh, Ion right there, and just put it in the center. Just kind of all over the center because it's a pretty shade and I'm just doing a really wide reaching swipe. I'm not being very precise or doing any sort of a halo effect. And then I'm even gonna take this little brush here, which is happens to be a refer number three, and just kind of go into the uh, inner corner with that same shade. And um, I think I'm gonna go underneath with it as well, since this is a pencil brush, and I just think that will give it a little bit of interest. And then I'll use the same pencil brush, three brushes only, to use our darkest matte shade there just to smoke out the under eye just a little bit. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna add in some mascara and some eyeliner and come right back to chat with you all. Okay, so I've added a little bit of my Wayne Goss mascara. Didn't use my Hourglass mascara this time. And just some Pat McGrath liner. And I'm gonna surprise myself with my kind of final opinions here. It would be extremely easy. It's almost really low hanging fruit, you guys, to say these are too expensive, this is a rip off. That would be simple. And a lot of people will say that, and, and they wouldn't be wrong. Of course, it's up to your budget. It's not that they're not too expensive, they are. But for the price you're paying, they are performing the way I would need for something this price to perform. What I mean by that is this was the, I'm quick anyway, but this was the easiest, smoothest blending experience I've had in a long time. I do not review drugstore makeup on this channel, so I am used to working with high-end and luxury uh, eyeshadows. And this was one of the easiest, most pleasant, uh, prettiest experiences I've had. And I'm surprised to hear myself say that. I assumed I would be saying you don't need this, and of course you do not need this. None of us need any of this makeup. But um, this was an extremely easy, extremely pleasant application process, um, and I will be buying more. Really the reason I bought three, I really wanted a five pan, but I was like $161, all of a sudden I got really cheap, right? And I just want, I, I, I don't need enough eyeshadow to spend $161. Um, 99 was where I kind of maxed out. I will definitely buy more, um, maybe another three pan and get a little bit more experimental. I stayed with curated because I really didn't know what I was stepping into, if you understand what I mean. I really just wanted to try this out for myself and for you guys watching at home. And I wanna tell you, this has been a lovely experience. These are beautiful. The uh, compact, the travel well, the shadows might, Bop around a little bit, but they're not going to get hurt in there. Um, this is, I use the curated shadow shades, of course, but they are absolutely beautiful. I am quite pleased with the eye look I achieved and the ease of use. You and only you and only your checking and bank and credit card accounts will know whether or not it is something that you would like to shell out for. But I will assure you that if you do, you will not be disappointed by the formula, the ease of use and the shades. This is absolutely beautiful and personally I will be getting more. I'm kind of excited about these actually and this is pretty much the opposite of what I had sort of semi-planned or assumed, I would say, at the end of this review. So I'm turning the tables a little bit. But I would love to know your thoughts, um, keeping in mind that this is uh, high-end luxury makeup. So there is a price to pay. Is it too expensive even for that? Or as I'm finding, might this just be worth it? I don't know. And of course, it's up to your spending limits. Of course, I'm not monitoring your own checking account. So do let me know. Leave your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I sure hope you did. And if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.